All right, everyone, welcome back to 4ACP Cycles. Today we're going to discuss Fuel Pack 3 from Vance and Hines for Harley applications. So the misconception is you just buy this Fuel Pack 3, slap it on your bike, you get a map from uh, Vance and Hines and everything's good to go. Or you put it on your bike and it does an auto-tune. Well, here's what your auto-tune looks like. This is your air fuel on the bottom here. So in the early RPMs, you're extremely lean with your so-called auto-tune. 17.18 uh, AFR, it's very lean, not safe for your engine. Here we are over here in the mid-range, about 3,500, 3,600 RPM. You're rich, 11.5. Up here in the top RPM range, about 4,600 RPM, it's so lean it's not even on the chart. So for all of you who think your Fuel Pack 3 is uh, giving you a good tune, and shame on you Vance and Hines for saying this information, you plug and play this on your bike and it auto tunes and so on and so forth, it does not. This is where you benefit from getting a dyno tune. So let's show you what it looks like afterwards once we tune it. So here's our tune, run number 14. The blue line <clears throat> should be following this dotted line here, as it is. We follow the mouse, 13.2, and we're a little rich up top now, 12.6. At 5,200 RPM, um, we gained a good bit of power. Went from 92 horsepower to up to 99.5, and our torque is a little off because we lost RPM signal up here. You know, but I can go to a different run and show you that we did gain torque as well, or just show you right here. So we gained about eight foot-pounds of torque also. So the miscon misconception is you buy this plug-and-play device, put it on your bike, and it has some cool features you can look at on your phone, as it does, but it's not tuning your bike worth a fucking damn. So that first map that was on his bike was very, very lean and could have caused engine damage at this point. So don't be fooled by these companies telling you you can plug and play this device and put it on your bike it's going to auto tune and so on and so forth it will not especially on a narrow band sensor it does not that's why you have to be on a wide band sensor or on a dyno to get a proper tune so if you need a tune and you're in the elkton maryland area call us 610-521-9444 or reach me right on my cell phone 484-919-1684 don't be one of these guys with the bike super lean like that and your upper RPMs because your motor ain't going to last very long.